School districts across the region are looking into changes to cell phone policies. The goal is to avoid distractions and improve safety. News 5's Liam Bridgman digs deeper into the new policy at Tennessee High School and how it could improve your students' mental health. Cell phone use in the classroom has been a topic of discussion throughout the region. Just last week, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin signed an executive order limiting the use of cell phones in Virginia schools. And beginning this year here at Tennessee High School, cell phones are not allowed to be used throughout the school day. I spoke with Tennessee High School Principal Kim Kirk about the decision. She hopes students will be more engaged and feel safer in school. Kids can go back to having conversations again and not being so you know, they rely on these things. And, and parents have had conversations about, well, my student just hasn't had anyone to talk to. Well, a lot of times I think the cell phone is the reason they don't have anyone to talk to because they choose a cell phone over a person. Kirk says she understands the policy may be questioned during the school year. I want students to advocate for things, so I encourage them to have conversations with teachers and, you know, understand, I want you to understand why. It's never, it's, we're going to do this and it's because I said so. I like to at least for them to walk away knowing while we're doing it. And we may disagree. Same thing with parents. At least you understand. At least we've had a conversation about it. Dr. Rachel Miller Slough is a licensed clinical psychologist who focuses on adolescent mental health. She says phone use in teens and adolescents can have both drawbacks and benefits. I think especially in the earlier developmental phases, there's still so much brain development that's happening, especially in the frontal lobe, where that's where you're learning how to kind of process complex information how to regulate your emotions, um, how to inhibit like impulsive behavior. And so when, when kids have really early access to phones, I think it's on how you kind of shape that use. Miller Slough says parents can play a big role in how their teens engage with social media. I think that especially when it comes to teens like emotional and mental health, where parents can really support their kids is talking about how to use it in a way that, that supports them, like checking in with how they're feeling when they're using it or how long they use it. Kirk says she has high hopes for the year, and she looks forward to seeing the benefits of the new policy. At Tennessee High School, Liam Bridgman, News 5, WCYB.